Jim Christensen, uh, president for Wisconsin Plastics. Uh, we got our start back in 1972 as a steel fabricating and plating company. Uh, moved into injection molding in 82. Uh, our current facility uh, we built in 86 and the uh, design center distribution and warehousing facility we're in right now was built in the early 2000s. Our customers that uh, we normally serve are usually the leading customers in each of their industries um, that have a steady influx of new and innovative products uh, that we can assist with and helping them on their speed to market goals. Some of the industries that uh, WPI serves would be in, in the medical, automotive, defense, uh, consumer products, and we also have our own product line of uh, dispensing systems for away from home uh, use. So uh, that coupled with our drive for innovation, automation, robotics, uh, really helped us uh, on some reshoring initiatives with many of the customers as well utilizing uh, state-of-the-art equipment in 3D printing, to injection molding machines, to the OGP Flash 500 on the quality side has really helped our uh, organization come to the next level. You know, Jeff Bath, quality manager for Wisconsin Plastics. Uh, we've been using an OGB machine uh, for our facility probably 10 or 12 years. It, it was uh, a Avant Zip 400 unit was purchased, used for the company a number of years back by my predecessor. Um, in the previous two years, we purchased a Flash 500 um, to utilize for our measurement systems. Uh, we, as a contract injection molder, we get some unique products. We get people who give us products that um, measure anywhere from three millimeters square to as much as uh, you know 18 inches by 24 by 24 so these we've got a pretty wide range of parts uh, the 500s really kind of solved a couple of our, our issues we've had we do a number of parts that are semi clear to clear uh, polycarbs unfilled lexans filled lexans which are white um, some of the systems being a white part are very hard to see uh, very hard to identify in the vision systems with the backlighting that's on the 500 um, with that colored backlighting it really helps define those features that we need to be able to identify those those areas um, the laser helps us do some nuanced measurements for flatness um, and we've got some parts where we're talking flatnesses of ten thousandths or less um, and that so and, and some of our military parts we have tolerances of 0.13 millimeters um, so those tolerances those narrow focus parts and being so small some of these parts are, are very small that the ability to zoom in and focus on those features and find them on a, a pretty significant part is pretty uh, a good use for our system um, defense contract people or the people that come in and, and verify what we're doing for the military really like it because they can see what's going on and they have for, more reliance or you know they trust in the data they're getting from us we're not trying to to hide anything because you can see it right there uh, the ability to use the CAD has really saved us a lot of issues um, customers aren't always perfect but we're able to give them saying hey you know based on your print you show picking these features at these locations when we compare it to the CAD we're not getting the same data and sometimes that helps take care of some problems or disconnects between us and the customer where hey you know the CAD isn't right or the drawing never got updated since the newest revision of CAD or even better yet because we help procure tooling for our customer we're able to go and scan against the CAD model find out where we're out of spec and actually send that data directly to our tool house for them to modify the tool based on what we're finding in data. And plastic shrinks differently. Certain plastics shrink in certain ways. So we're able to actually adjust for that shrinkage, even though the tool is built to the perfect world, nothing's perfect. The mold changes, material conditions can change. The temperature that the mold is filled at could change how that material shrinks. And we can adjust the steel to accommodate for that. 
So that's really been the, the real big benefits of the, the Flash 500 and the addition of the system. Uh, we chose OGP because of the fact that that thing is reliable. I mean, we got a machine that I know is at least 15 years old, maybe older, and it's still running. Um, the mechanical systems of the machine still work great. Uh, you know, technology is, is expanded, and it's nice knowing that we have a newer machine that can run the Windows programs, can do the CAD with the Zone 3 software, really helps us get information to our customers and make it easier for the operators to see what's going on, see what's happening, and are the parts in spec or out of spec, and it graphically shows them that on the printouts and everything else. So that's really been a benefit for us.